G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for this week's edition of our Game Day Squad update. So if you haven't checked it out yet guys, last week I did a video explaining how Game Day Squad works. It's a new really exciting alternative to AFL Fantasy and Supercoach and all that stuff with the main difference being that you can build a team over a period of time um, using players in a, in a dynasty kind of way, which means once you get the player, you keep them for the rest of their career as well. So in today's video, we're gonna go through my team. Uh, we're gonna make some changes, look at how we did, have a look at the competition leaderboard. Last week, I did announce that we had opened up a true footy competition as well, and it was great to see 45 of you have jumped on and joined the league already. So if you haven't already, it's not too late. You can still follow the link in the description, or I'll pin it as a comment as well. Follow that link, use the invite code, join the league and join in all the fun. It's not too late, unlike fantasy. You can join any time. There's weekly competitions as well. And it's a lot of good fun as well because you're not just playing for this year. You're building up your future premiership team. So like I said, guys, in this video, we're going to go through uh, how everyone did last week. And then uh, we're going to go through my team. And also I've got a few packs to open as well, which is really exciting. Uh, I really enjoyed that as well. So I don't know which players I'm going to get, uh, but we'll open them all up and then we'll see who I can add to my side to improve it as well. And hopefully there's some long-term gems in there as well. I got to say after Rube and Jimmy has won the Rising Star nomination for this week. I'm really hoping I get him because uh, I think he's going to be a good long-term player. But we'll have a look at uh, the competition as well. So as you can see on my screen here, we have the True Footy competition. And on the right here, we've got uh, how everyone's going. So as a record, we've got 45 in the league as well. So make sure you join all the fun. But we'll shout out the winner who is Peanut Butters with 6,401 points as well, which is impressive. I'm down in eighth with 1799. Jeez, um, that is a huge difference between eighth and first. Um, clearly my team's not strong enough. I need to spend more time investing in it and, and really improving in it um, as well. So well done to those guys. Kappa is in second. Majak me off. That's... <laughs> That's a good name, I like it, well done. So right there, as you can see guys, is the uh, invite code on here, but I have left it in the uh, description of this video as well, so make sure you join all the fun. Uh, let's take a look at my squad for the Western Stank Lords. So as you can see, we are currently um, two days before lockout, and uh, I think, is that the previous round I came 210th? So I'll take that, that's not too bad for a first, first attempt. Um, as you can see, this team has a salary cap, right? So we have a budget of $12 million, and I've spent $11.4 million, so I've got six hundred thousand there to improve my squad um, and which means there's five percent of my salary cap budget uh, still unpaid so this is a good opportunity for me to try and improve it uh, obviously it's a salary cap league so um, we're all playing under the same um, salary cap obviously so let's have a look at how my team did last week and it gives you the averages okay so um, we have a look in the back line there Nick Newman in particular he had a really good game so if I click on Nick no Newman here that little eye it tells you his stats so he got 135. Uh, that's pretty good. He had a pretty good game on Toby Green there as well. 17 kicks, 11 marks. As you can see in my previous video I've done, um, you can see exactly how points are accumulated and uh, people who kick goals will do generally quite well as well. So Nick Newman, I'm really happy with. How did Jarman Impey go from a um, game day squad perspective? He's got in the 80s there. So I'd love to be able to round out this team with all players averaging in the 80s as well. Who was my weakest or who is the, averaging the lowest? Um, Burn, Burn Jones, he gets 90s and 80s. He goes a 69 there. How did Brody Smith go? He had a 77 last week. So I think I can look at one of these two guys, maybe Burn Jones, and see who have I got on my bench here. Oh my goodness, Jack uh, Scrimshaw, he had a really good game for the Hawks last week. Um, I might switch him in and uh, confirm that swap. So I've already got Scrimshaw you know, in the background there. Uh, he's already part of my squad. That's why I can do that. Um, and then I'll look on the eye here. Yeah, so he's played uh, in round three and scored 123 points as well. So he's only a bronze player, which means I only get you know his score... Uh, 1.0 times his score, so that's the standard. But if you get like silver um, or whatever, or platinum, I think it's 1.3 times their score as well. So for instance, Oscar McInerney here is the one player that I have that is platinum, um, which means he would cost more in the salary cap as well. And uh, if I hit on that, he scored 108, 100, and 113. Um, and like I said, 1.3 times his score. There you go. So his average score there is 82.3. Because I got him in platinum, he's getting 107. So that's fantastic. Uh, I have Rowan Marshall on my bench. Let's have a look here. Rowan Marshall is still outscoring him, even though he's a bronze player there as well. So maybe there's a bit of upside there. I can uh, try and get another platinum player and replace McInerney in that team. Riley Dilthorpe, he had a good game on the weekend. Yeah, he kicked five goals. 
but I suppose as a key forward, particularly a young one, he's probably not a player that I want to have on my field each and every time. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a look, I'll see if there's anyone here I can replace him with straight away. Uh, Eric Hipwood, uh, I've already got Thilthorpe there. How did Hipwood go? Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it as is for now. Um, in today's video, we've got some packs to open. You get free packs each week, and uh, I'm gonna look at uh, my packs. If you go to starter packs here, this is how many I've got left to open. So that's the fun part of today's video. We're gonna open them together. I've got two midfield packs, I've got three defenders, and I've got a Ruckman as well. Let's start with the mids. That's where the game's won and lost. I'm gonna hit open here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, dopamine rush. What do we got here? So, we got one card and it is a bronze Callan Ward. Sweet, cool, sweet. So I'll just close that for now and then um, I will open the other midfielder I've got. Who have we got, who have we got? Come on, Ruben Jinby. Trent Cotchen, interesting. Okay, so Cotchen and Ward, not too bad. They're both bronze, obviously, um, but as far as midfield midfielders go, those are two pretty solid ones. This is the Ruckman now. Who have we got? Tim English, bronze edition. Okay, so we'll we'll go shortly at the end of this and then I'll, I'll, I'll move around my squad and then get the guys in the right positions and see how he actually goes week to week. Three defender packs, all right, let's have a look. Open. Come on, give me a legend one, just for the fun of it. Tom Barass, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Starting to get a few eagles into the side. Who have we got now? Please be someone good. Andy McGrath, uh, that's a good one, because obviously he can win ball through the midfield as well. So as far as defenders go, that's probably a good one to have in your team. And the final pack we're gonna open here is... Ruben Jinby. Tom Barras again, ah, so you can get the same player twice. Um, so that's just unlucky for me. Uh, but let's go back to my squad now and uh, see if these guys are gonna crack my best 22. Cool, so the weakest player in my defense we'll start with is, uh, well, it's Alex Pierce on the bench there, right? So I'll swap him out um, and you can see, uh, Campbell Chess is injured, okay? And he's probably not, he's probably more of a longer term one anyway. Um, so the best average here is Andy McGrath, okay? So I'll swap him out. Confirm. Cool. So now I've got Andrew McGrath starting on my field. He's got an average of 96. Let's see how he's gone this year. So 93, 103, 92. Those are all pretty good um, averages. He's a pretty consistent player, obviously. And uh, yeah, getting in the mid-20s for disposals each week as well. So pretty happy with that one. Let's move down to the midfield. Who is my weakest midfielder? You've got Jager O'Meara. I... Amira hasn't really hit those heights um, at Fremantle yet. He, uh, not that to say he was ever an elite player at Hawthorne, but he was, wasn't far off consistent. I think a change of role has meant that he's um, probably spending less time on the ball, I can only guess. Um, that's what his average is. He's got 107 because he did kick a couple of goals against North, but it went back down to 73 when he had 17 disposals. So he's got 19, 21, and 17 disposals each week. I think I think I can do better than that. So who did we pick up again? Um, who have I got? So I've got Sam Berry, Lockie Whitfield. Uh, interesting. So the best average I've got here is Callan Ward. So let's swap him into my bench position. How's he gone? He got 93 uh, against Carlton, 71 and 108. So a little bit up and down. That's not too bad though. So everyone in my uh, starting midfield there is averaging over 100. So I might just leave that for the moment. Uh, we'll go down to here and Mabi Chol is uh, clearly the player that I want to replace there. Uh, obviously he hasn't played since round one, so that's a bit of an oversight by me putting him in this team. Um, who have I got? I've already got Phil Thorpe, so I've, I think I've got two Phil Thorpes. So Hipwood, gee whiz. The forward line is seriously where I need to improve, uh, evidently. So how this game works is as well, if you go to my packs uh, and you can you can actually purchase different card uh, qualities as well. You can get the common ones, which are mostly gonna be bronze. Uh, then there's rare, there's a new, uh, unique as well. So if you want to improve your squad, you can, uh, but you don't have to do that to play the game. It all depends as well. There's uncapped and capped leagues, which means that in our league, obviously, because it's capped, you have to spend under a certain salary cap. Um, so you can work that out as you go and see how many players you got in your, on your team. And Oscar McInerney is my platinum player, but as we saw before, he's averaging less than Roman Marshall, even with that platinum status, which means I can probably invest in another 
uh, platinum player still fit them in the salary cap and uh, it would pretty much be all sweet. So I can still have room to improve my squad there. But there you go, guys. That is just a quick update on how my game day squad team is going. Make sure you get involved in all the action um, with the link in the description and uh, just make a team. You can join the league. Uh, it is free. You can obviously invest in your team if you want to improve them. Remembering again, it's not just for this season. It's, uh, it's longer term as well and the weekly prizes make it worthwhile as well. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying game day squad like I am and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.